Hi, my name is Dari Jane, and I'll be talking about Sen's entitlement theory. So Sen, Sen, um, Sen's entitlement theory was developed by a Nobel Prize economist, Amartya Sen. He was born in Bengal in 1933, and um, his research for famine was actually inspired by the Bengal famine of, famine of 1943. So in order to actually understand um, this theory at all, we first have to talk about the meaning of famine, which is the shortage of, shortage of food um, enough to lead to starvation. So Sen describes it as being due to a lack of entitlement. Entitlement basically um, means things like wages earned from an occupation, crop or livestock raised, gifts, donations, investments, or inheritance. Although it is commonly just known as assistance from the government. Um, so the way it actually causes famine is that people do not have the resources through entitlements to stay away from starvation unless they are receiving some kind of charity, which doesn't actually count as a form of entitlement. So the theory for famine until 1951 was actually known as the Food Availability Decline, or the FAD, which basically states that the only reason somebody, an uh, area would go through famine is with the decrease in availability of food. Um, the problem with this was that it didn't explain things like why some people during a famine had actually more food than usual, and while well, other people had virtually nothing. So in 1951, the FEE was adopted, which is the failure of exchange of entitlement, which is um, basically the inability for a person to exchange entitlements and therefore results in famine. Um, and an example of this would be an agricultural laborer who's going through some shortages in staff for laborers and um, is unable to trade those laborers for rice or um, the rice product. So that's an example of being unable to exchange entitlements. So Sen came up with an idea of famine based on three things. Uh, the first thing is that the lack of democracy actually increases your chances of going through famine. This picture shows um, China under Mao's rule. And um, so Sen states that famine is more likely to occur in a country where you don't get the opportunity for free speech or to fight for your social justice. Um, and both China under Mao's rule and uh, India under the British colonial regime kind of fit this situation. So Mao would be able to make executive decisions like um, have everybody start creating steel in their backyards, which is kind of what he said. And that actually dropped the cultivation of rice, but no one was able to fight that because it was they didn't have a democracy. The next um, part of Sen's theory is that the lack of media actually leads to more famine as well. This is because uh, the media has the ability to show the government right away some of the most extreme cases of hunger that are occurring. And um, because with and without that it makes it very hard for the government to be able to help people out. It also, um, they have less incentive to help if their, their people, like the rest of the world, isn't seeing the hunger crisis. So media is definitely a big part of um, keeping famine in check. Lastly, crop specialization. Um, so both Bengal and China rely heavily on rice, the rice crop for their um, population to be sustained in terms of eating. So when something goes wrong with the uh, rice crop, then everybody kind of gets in trouble. And that's why more diversification is important to stay away from um, going through a case of famine. So uh, there are a couple flaws with Sen's theory. Uh, the first one being that it doesn't take into account natural disasters. So in Bengal, there was actually a huge cyclone right before the famine uh, of 1943 as well, and that definitely led to uh, less cultivation of the rice crop. So the Sen's uh, theory does not take that into account. The next thing it doesn't take into account is the fact that both countries were actually in a war at that time, and um, during a war, your resources are depleted a lot quicker, so you don't have as much food. 
um, which could be a reason for the famine. And the last thing is the caste system. Um, so a lot of the pe uh, people in the lower caste did not get as much food while the, the upper people and the merchants actually hoarded all the food for themselves. And, um, and uh, Sen's theory doesn't actually take some of the hoarders keeping all the food into account either. Thank you for listening.